Hello Captain, this was a Zerg vs Terran game that made me realize that Terran is Imba, and Zerg is absolute trash. This build that the Terran player played was the stupidest build that I have ever seen. He never got more than one barracks, factory and starport until 8 minutes. He proxied a reactor starport and proceeded to spam liberators into my base with no regards if they survived. The Liberators one-shot all of my larva so that I could no longer produce any units. To be honest, I wasn't playing my best, and I was a bit late on the spores, but the very fact that Terrans can shut down a Zerg's entire production with a few Liberators is stupid. So is it Imba, or do I suck? I love that this guy in the balance complaint form already says that he wasn't playing him best. He's already making the excuses, you know, protecting his ego. I have a feeling this is going to be a great game. The name is Terran Master. The race is Zerg. Leak is Diamond, 3.5k MMR. And the server is North America. So the question is, is it Imba or do I suck? Great stuff over here on Curious Minds. Penny versus the Terran Master, and the Terran Master is going to be the player that we will be paying attention to. Despite the name, do not get tricked by that, it is indeed a Zerg player, with so far an absolutely perfect builder. Look at that Overlord pop out, double drones as well. At the same time we have the Terran, uh, Penny, starting with a gas first. This is a very uncommon build order for Terran, as it delays the initial barracks a little bit, but it allows you to get a faster factory while building a Reaper. That is the main advantage that this build order has. We also see an extremely quick SEV scout. I'm not quite sure what this is all about. Almost feels like Penny wanted to hatch block, except didn't quite remember the time of when the initial hatchery goes down. Because this doesn't look great. Okay, we have a second refinery on the way. Um, that is indeed quite interesting. Now, there were some complaints in the in the imbalance complaint form about the build order of the Terran player. So we're going to uh, keep an eye on that. I think that is only fair, of course. Um, I'm still not entirely sure what the what exactly was imbalanced. It seemed like Terran Master was complaining about the fact that Liberators could one-shot Larva. This is the first time that I've ever heard that complaint in my life. A bunker. Okay. And a factory at home as well. Five SCVs in gas. Well, this is... I, I, I've i never seen this before either. I don't think this is on purpose. Yeah, okay. Uh, one worker gets pulled out and another worker gets pulled out. Yeah, this is this is definitely not on purpose. That was a, a, a massive mistake. We get a second depot. And this bunker will finish up. And the SCV will immediately run away. No need to repair it. No, says Penny. I am just going to run this SCV to the top side of the map where it will be safe from any of these angry Zerg's influences. Zerg so far knows that there is no uh, command center on the natural uh, so start a spine crawler makes some sense right you also see a bunker might be something like a forex but instead it's going to be a proxy starport now one of the first priorities that i would have if i were a zerg player i know that there is no command center and I know that a bunker just got built, I would start scouting around the map, just sending one link towards the top side and one link towards the bottom side. I can, of course, can't completely blame Terran Master for not doing that. It does take a little bit of APM. What I wouldn't do, however, is build 10 extra links. The Zerg has a beautiful little thing called the Queen, and the Queen can be built while you're producing workers from your larva. As a Zerg player, generally, you need to decide between uh, units or drones but the queen is kind of the exception because the queen it is a defensive unit that doesn't cost larva and you can build this unit while you're building drones so ideally what you want to be doing in this type of situation is you just continue drone production you scout around the map you check if your opponent is moving out with the links and then you just build queens and drones you get a very good eco you're saving up energy on your queens and you know that your opponent does not have a command center yet now the beauty of the queen is that it doesn't only attack ground but yes it also shoots up on top of that it has an amazing amount of tanking ability it has decent damage output and they can heal each other so really it is the the catch-all solution for zerk against anything that can be constructed off of one base um what doesn't really work well 
is the Zergling. The Zergling basically sucks against anything that Terran can build. It's bad against Marines. It's bad against Mines. It sucks against Hellions. It's not great against tank pushes. Banelinks are good, but right now the Zerg player isn't really at an economy to get Banelinks out. It's just simply not possible. I also love, by the way, that he built this entire line of Zerglings just to move them back home, not scout around the map. We've been supply blocked at 35 out of 36 for what felt like five minutes. Now we lost an Overlord and we're actually supply blocked at 28. Um, the 28 supply block is something we don't see very often. That means that there's only two overlords on the map currently. Four minutes into the game. For just a point of reference, I think the standard timing for your third overlord to usually finish is actually at like, like maybe 205 or 210. So yeah, this this doesn't look very good. The eco here and the general state of the game, it feels like we moved back in time. And that's not a positive thing usually in StarCraft 2. If I ever had a time machine, that would be a very positive thing. I'd be doing great things with it, like buying lots of Bitcoin in 2009, writing down all the lottery numbers. Like I'd be, I'd be a great person, let me tell you that much. Predict lots of future events as well. And I'd be the true one oracle. I thought about this actually before, that if I would, if I would be capable of traveling back in time to predict future events, what would most likely happen is that some government would kidnap me, put me in a room and force me to do the future telling for them. So you probably wouldn't, you kind of want to keep a low profile, you know? You, you wouldn't want to be able to predict everything just every now and again. And just like a, like one of these people, uh, like one of the carnival peoples, you know, with the crystal, with the crystal ball, you want to just kind of throw stuff out there. So every now and again, you're right. And then you point that, see, I'm right. But you also want to have a backlog of predictions that are completely incorrect. Um, so that when it, when the FBI comes knocking at your door, you say, no, 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 see, I'm just gambling a lot. You know, I, I used the shotgun approach. I put a lot of crap out there and then eventually I get right. Um, how this is in relation to this game, I can't quite recall. What is rather odd, though, is that we're right now getting triple gases as well as a spire off of three queens um, and 27 workers. Now, I'd like to remind everyone right now that Terran Master, our Zerg player, isn't aware what's going on. There is no vision on whether there is a command center. A third base has been taken. But technically, we're still preparing for a one base all-in. Now, what are some common one base all-ins? Well, they don't exist because there's no such thing as a, as a one base all-in in TVZ. But if we were to just think about it with a barracks, a factory, and a starport, we'd be thinking of marine tank pushes with medifex. We'd be thinking of uh, banshee attacks, maybe. Maybe a battlecruiser rush as well. Literally every single thing that the Terran could have built from one base, um, this... Whatever the heck it is that Terran Master is doing is not good against it. Terran Master had the audacity to complain uh, about his opponent's build order, but his own build, build order is even worse. And you know what they say, if you live in a glass house, you shouldn't be throwing stones at other people, or you shouldn't be throwing stones in general. In general, you shouldn't be throwing stones. It's a dangerous hobby. Also, quite frankly, a rather weird hobby. Um, I have a three-year-old domesticated hamster that lives in my basement uh, and sometimes I let him out of his cage and he'll run over my keyboard and touch my mouse and I've seen him produce build orders that make more sense than whatever crap it is that you're showing me here, Terran Master, because this build is actual hot garbage. It doesn't make sense. It's not safe against anything that is from one base. It is not good against anything that would be from two base. It just completely sucks. Low eco, really fast stack. Um, you're actually super lucky. Honestly, you're one of the luckiest people here because Aspire is kind of good against this. You get like two Corruptors and you will be fine forever. Now you of course also have the two Queens, which should be capable of killing these Liberators. Or, or you could lose both of the queens. But there's still one queen out there. Where's that queen? Oh, it's spreading creep. That is great. I like the priorities here of the queen as well. Defending this particular creep tumor over making sure that this liberator will not be capable of denying mining for the next five minutes. 
Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You literally have a single unit to micro. How is this possible? How is this? What are you even looking at? Our base is under attack. Okay. What is this? Someone stomping on your drones? Indeed. Okay, look at this. Look at this. You're selecting it. You're looking at this. You're walking in the circle. You still have it selected. You still have it selected. This is wonderful. This is slow motion view of some of the lowest level decision making that I've seen in my life. I knew that people like Terran Master were out there. And after two and a half years of doing, is it Imba or do I suck? I found, I finally found one. A complete idiot. I've joked before about negative IQ. But Terran Master, if you're out there, I think science would like to study your brain. And then, in, you know, people, scientists always looking for, for ways to increase people's IQ. What they could do with you is they'd look at your brain and then reverse it basically the complete opposite of what your brain is like reverse that and we'd get someone with infinite iq that at least is my theory for now um i like the the queen that you're building here makes sense you had great success with the last queen that you built as well so i i do like that you you build another one taking a ford gas yes that definitely is the priority right now for us very very smart we have two gases that we're not mining from getting a spore why are you getting a spire if you're not planning on using it? Like, you could have... You could have at least built, like, a corruptor here from this base while it's not being blasted by these liberators. It... You said that every single larva got taken... You're building four drones! How does this have the priority? Two spores in the natural? How does... How do six drones have the priority over getting two corruptors to deal with the liberator harass? Ling run by, gets taken out by this mine, and then your hold positioning here behind the mineral line. Some great stuff. High level harass. I just really don't understand this. It's like I'm watching the the, the first person view of like Alpha Star playing its first training game or something like this. It actually blows my mind that there's people like you out there. Like, why did you take the fourth gas? Why did you build a spire if you didn't want to use it? I have so many questions for you. I'd like to get in contact with you. Could you please send me an email and just, we can talk it out, but I'm excited to, to speak with someone exactly like you. I'm just so curious. 23 workers, two spores already done. This liberator right now is threatening absolutely nothing. And rather than just sending these drones into the main where there is a spore already, you decide to build another spore with the only, what is it, 70 minerals that you have in your bank. You decide to build a spore at this base. I also like the persistence of trying to build units from these larvae rather than just saying, okay, I'm probably not going to be capable of getting the units from those larvae. It simply seems to be impossible. Now your opponent, actually isn't building anything. Your opponent genuinely has a terrible build order and you are getting absolutely destroyed by this terrible build order. I don't think you should be complaining about the fact that your opponent is, opponent is playing a bad build order. I think you should be grateful that your opponent isn't playing a real build. If Penny would have played something remotely similar to a real build, you would have probably lost all 32 workers, you know, send them into like a mine drop, or if there was a single battle cruiser here, you're, well, you would have two queens and a spore in no man's land. Like, this absolute garbage. Triple queens on the way once again, because obviously after losing the first four queens, um, the thing that you really are going to be needing is more queens that you're not going to micro. This guy's actually controlling his liberators as well. I really do like that. And Penny is having a blast over here. Brrp. to set it up into one of your spores so at least you will get this liberator the thing that frustrates me the most is that i don't even think you're that slow yeah you look quite fast you pull your workers away every single time um at least you somewhat pull them away you move the spores around as well it's just like you have no overlord speed this is actually like watching an ai plus one Maybe, 
maybe Terran Master is playing some challenge of not wanting to build any units, but getting the upgrades for them. Some beating Grandmaster with stupid stuff, but rather than the series being called beating Grandmaster with stupid stuff, it's losing to diamonds. Wait, this is diamond? This is, yeah, this is 3.5k MMR on NA. Holy crap, America, get it together. Another spore here? Another spore? The triangle spore location. Like, the priorities here of what we're spending our money on is crazy. It's similar. It, imagine you're in a, a post-apocalyptic world. Post-apocalyptic world. Post, no. I was correct the first time. A post-apocalyptic world. And you have five post-apocalyptic coins. And you go to the post-apocalyptic apocalyptic store and there you get the decision between six cans of beans food or one of these plugs that you can it's like a translator plug you know when you go to america or to canada you put it in the wall then you can put your european plug in it and it will still work you get electricity now usually if you would have what is it five money or six money and you could buy one of those i'd say that's a relatively good deal if you don't have one of these. They're quite useful. But you forgot the fact that we're in a post-apocalyptic world. And in this world, the six cans of beans are actually going to be way more valuable. And it's very similar here. Usually I'd say, hey, you know, getting the, the pneumatized carapace, the overlord speed. And sure, the plus one on the spire is great. But right now, this is a situation where your opponent is continuously rallying liberators into your bases. You're on 36 workers. The priority should be getting units out to deal with the Liberators and then getting drones out to get back your economy. The priority is not getting upgrades for air units that you don't even have, getting triple spores in your main base and making your overlords fly faster. Like, what is this? I just don't... I don't even understand why you're adding two more here. You already set up Hydra then. You cancel the plus one and go for a Hydra then now. This entire game just makes no sense whatsoever to me. I don't understand how this is 3.5k MMR. I, I really just do not understand that. I used to respect people in Diamond. This is very, very low level. I think this is the worst game we've seen so far. He does have creep spread though. This Zerk is really bad. 50% of the StarCraft players are worse than this. That is so difficult to imagine for me. And it hurts a little bit as well. This is a relatively old game. Okay, this is it. No GG either, because obviously the only reason your opponent won was because of imbalance. I'm not even sure if I can take this imbalance complaint from Sirius. This feels like a setup. Like these two guys, the Terran Master and Penny, just sat together like, let's create the worst game possible. Say that it's Diamond and send it in. I just can't actually believe that this is a real game that got played on the ladder. It just seems so unlikely to me. I don't really know what to say. I don't even really want to make a judgment here, honestly. Like, it, like, it's obvious to me that liberators are difficult to deal with, especially at lower levels. They can be shift queued in and they can deal a lot of damage. You need to put spores in position. The queens always walk stupid when you aim move them. But you were looking at it every single time. You had somewhat correct tools. You had a spy ready. It's like there was no decision making whatsoever in your head. And just 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 nothing. I I I yeah, I really don't know what to say here. Just you could have literally done anything else and it would have been better. I I really just don't get it. It's just nothing here made sense. Like the the entire thing. The only thing that would make sense is if you face this build very often on the ladder and you have no clue what to do against it, is you use the, 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 the process of elimination to try and get to the correct answer. So imagine we have a, a difficult mathematical question, a difficult for a Terran master in this case, we would like two plus seven. Now, most people would know that it's nine, but what you could do instead is you could just fill in every single answer until uh, whatever you're asking or whatever thing you're putting it in 
tells you that it's correct. So you start with one, then you get two, then you get three, four, five, six, seven, eight, then you get nine. This is what's happening right now, I think, with this game. It wouldn't surprise me if from now on I'm going to continuously be getting replays sent to me by Terran Master against this exact build order, which is wildly varying, uh, varying, varying, uh, responses so starts with like com this complete crap four gases aspire get plus one overlord speed walk my queens into the liberators and then he hears me say it's like uh, oh this is not good okay it's not good next time he's going to build a hydra then build four roaches morph six banelings and then moonwalk the queens across the map this is the only explanation that makes any sense whatsoever this genuinely was the worst game i think i've seen in this entire series um, and it's a diamond game and that saddens me um, you definitely do suck and uh, liberators are not imbalanced um, I, I really do not want to receive any more replays either I'm just mainly confused and I'm going to sleep for 18 hours to try and recover from this thank you that will be it for me and I'll see y'all next time bye bye